So now in an earlier video, we had an N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET wired as a switch. Here we got a P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET wired as a switch. So one thing you'll notice are the polarities are opposite. We have the positive supply up here and uh, the load down here going to uh, ground. So the switch is on the high side of the uh, circuit. So it's commonly called a high side switch, common for uh, P-channel MOSFETs and for PNP bipolar junction transistors. They work on the more positive side compared to the load. Of course the middle, the gate, is where we get our signal. So up here is the source and uh, down here is the drain. Again it's facing the opposite way of the end channel uh, MOSFET when it comes to the pin. So the uh, front of the transistor here is to the right and then the back is to the left. The back is larger and there's a little dimple. This is an E-line package transistor. It uh, looks a bit like the TO92, but also a bit different. Again, flat on the back instead of curved, and it's flat on the front, but the sides curve in a little bit, so the front is a little narrower. Of course, the LED, the anode, has to be more positive, cathode, more negative. We have it to the positive supply right there. That is why it's off. Also, if you unplug it, it might uh, stay off like that. The uh, signal to the uh, gate there is kind of like a capacitor. A little bit of charge can change what it's doing pretty easily right there. So in any case, positive is off and then when we go negative it's definitely on right there. So as we could see there there's a problem with uh, false signals like this and uh, again just like we showed with the end channel MOSFET if we want it to be off until we definitely turn it on we can use a pull up resistor 10,000 ohm resistor there exact value doesn't matter and uh, 220 ohm resistor there to uh, light the LED at 5 volts we got the 5 volt power supply when uh, the transistors on so there you can see that now if we want to make sure it stays on until we turn it off again we can put the resistor pull down resistor now it's pulling down the gate voltage making sure it stays on until we overpower it with a direct connection to the positive supply right there and now that brings us to our schematic diagram and pin layout right here that I made. So now unfortunately when it comes to field effect transistors FETs such as the MOSFET and the JFET they don't have universal schematic symbols. You'll see a whole bunch of uh, different ones but uh, this is one that I like. So in any case the arrow now is pointing the opposite direction of the uh, end channel enhancement mode MOSFET right there. Hopefully you got a part number I forgot to mention I was using the BS250. I did mention it was in the E-line package so it looks a little bit different. You got a smaller uh, front and then a longer a wider back right there and uh, both sides are flat. There's a little dimple on the back too. Part numbers on the front. Now the uh, drain is to the left, gate is to the middle and source is to the right. Otherwise it plugs into the board just like a TO92 package. The uh, two N7000 that we used in the last video when you were looking at the front, the source was to the left, pin 1, and the drain was to the right, uh, pin 3. So the uh, pins are on opposite sides of the physical component as far as the front. The pins are also on the opposite side of the uh, circuit. So the source for the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET is more positive, drain more negative, whereas the N-channel, the uh, drain was more positive, source was uh, more negative. So they're also on opposite sides of the circuit and so the transistors face the same way to get the opposite pins uh, on the uh, board when it comes towards uh, more positive and more negative. Hope that makes sense. But in any case, let's get to the circuit. When the gate is uh, more positive there, the gate is kind of like a capacitor. Gate gets more positive, the channel gets more negative. There's insulation between them and uh, so it pulls electrons in there and since it's p-channel enhancement mode that means it conducts better when the channel gets more positive and thus it's off because it's more negative now we get the gate more negative right there that makes the channel more positive as I said before that's when it conducts better and then it uh, will conduct fully with the voltages that we're using right here it has some resistance though that's something to be aware of not much I think it's maybe like 5 uh, ohms or something I haven't looked at the data sheet but in any case, you got a little bit of resistance, but compared to the rest of the circuitry, it's uh, hardly any uh, resistance for this particular circuit. You have to check the data sheet for uh, any other ones, as is all the case when you're modifying a circuit that you find. So in any case, hopefully you found that interesting. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I posted to the screen. 
and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.